Okay, Python on hardware time. Python on hardware time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Python on hardware time. Okay, we're gonna do this in two parts, Lady Ada. First, you're gonna talk about what's latest and greatest with Pico W, and then I'm gonna talk about an upcoming event. Okay, everybody, it's it's that time. You've been waiting, you've been bugging us, and now it's time for you to uh, step up and try out the latest uh, builds for Circuit Python. Um, we have a couple builds that are after version eight beta one, and I know beta beta two is being worked on and probably will be released in the next couple days. We now have TLS support as well as private certificates um, and pri sorry, uh, self signing and, and private like client side certificate loading support for the Pico W. So uh, the only thing that doesn't work is making a HTTPS server, but that also doesn't work on the MicroPython. So we're not too worried about it. But if you want to connect to services, with TLS, which you should, if you want to um, use MQTT, if you want to use NTP, if you want to use requests, if you want to do anything on the internet with the Pico W and CircuitPython, now is your time. Adafruit IO works, we got a demo of that uh, tested, Liz uh, checked it out, and uh, we're working on getting the Azure demo working, uh, there's some, some typo or something. Um, and we're gonna add some documentation, but if you, have used the ESP32 series, um, that same code is gonna work on the Pico W and uh, you get all like 320 drivers, um, you get all the example code. People should be able to take it our projects just and- It works and now it's online. Work. It's uh, Yeah, now it's online. All right. So please try it and if you have issues, please open, if you have bug reports, open an issue on the CircuitPython repo because we are now in like, Ad, you know, advanced user bug reporting mode. Like we want people who really know this stuff to try it out and let us know what doesn't work with example code that we can replicate and then we can fix it. But Jepler's done an amazing job. He's between the keyboards and this, he's kind of alternating. Take one of your past CircuitPython sensor projects, make it Wi-Fi and send the data to Adafruit.io. Yeah. Play around with it. All that stuff now can be online. Um, so gigantic, newsletter and was on a video cast there's a talking mac with circuit python um tons of there's new that shows or project yeah there's a bunch going on rg matrices if it blinks if it charges if it lights up it's if it's Lars. a sensor <laughs> if it talks if it's a skull it's powered by python so um there's also a bunch of events coming up but this week the event that i'm going to talk about is the one that you're gonna be doing, Lady Ada. So, oh. Espressive DevCon 22. I gotta do that. You gotta do it. <laughs> um, it's it's online and it's October 19th to 20th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. CEST time. And they have a bunch of stuff going on. Um, you'll be able to ask questions. You'll be able to hear speakers. It's the first official dev conference made by de developers for developers. It's a two-day online conference that brings you all the stuff from Espressive. Um, you can look at the website and, of course, the reason we're talking about it. Well, we talk about it anyways, but yeah, we talk more about, is going on. I'll be talking about, you know, CircuitPython 8. A uh, big part of it is adding support for ESP32, the Wi-Fi workflow, which I'll be demoing. We have a guide for it. Um, and also just showing off all the different hardware we have, uh, why we are using CircuitPython, um, some of the benefits of using that for your IoT projects, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then, you know, I'll just toss in one note here. Um, the person who, uh, thank you, uh, who said the following. Someone nice. Getting CircuitPython 8 on Pico W is 30 seconds and awesome. The hardest part is just to drag in the UF2 over. This is so cool. I know, because you have to hold in the 30 button. seconds you're doing like internet. All of our, and it's like we IoT want to make stuff. it so whether, whatever, you know, you're using ESP32, yeah. S2, or C3, yeah. or whatever. This is all live stream, by the way. This is going to be all live. Espresso, all be works. Able to, you're going to be able to, to, to read all and see all this stuff. So, anyways, um, this is delivered, this newsletter, to your inbox every single week. Go to adafruitdaily.com where you sign up. It's completely not related to your adafruit.com account. Separate website because we don't like spam either. We don't give out any of the email addresses. We don't do anything like that. That's why we have a separate site. Okay.